More or Less. Math Start, Comparing Numbers by Stuart Murphy, illustrated by David Wenzel. Mr. Shaw had been the principal of Bayside School for so many years that most people couldn't even remember how long it had been, but now he was retiring. All the students and teachers, most of the parents, Mr. Shaw's family, and people from the neighborhood had gathered in the schoolyard for a big picnic in his honor. All around the playground there were booths with games to play. Let Eddie guess your age was one of the most popular booths. If Eddie could guess a person's age after three questions or less, he won. If it took him four questions or more, the person got a prize. And if he couldn't guess even after six questions, Eddie got dunked in the big tank of water. Eddie was good and lucky. He hadn't gotten dunked yet. Clara, one of Eddie's classmates, came along. She spoke in a really squeaky voice, so Eddie wouldn't know who she was. Bet you can't guess my age, Clara said. Is it less than ten? asked Eddie. Yes, said Clara. More than seven? Yes. So you're older than seven and younger than ten. Is your age an even number? asked Eddie. No, it's not, squeaked Clara. Then you're nine years old, said Eddie. No prize for you. Ah, complained Clara in her real voice. I never win anything. Try another game, said Eddie. You never know when your luck will change, Clara. One of the parents came over to Eddie's booth. She spoke in a low, growly voice, but Eddie could still tell that she was a grown-up. He thought, my mom just turned 42. Maybe I'll start there. Are you older than 42? asked Eddie. Yes, muttered the woman. Have you had your 46th birthday? asked Eddie. No, she said. Is it an odd number? asked Eddie. There are two odd numbers between 42 and 46. If the woman said yes, he'd have to ask a fourth question and give a prize away. No, it's not, said the woman. Then you're 44 years old, said Eddie. No prize for you. Meanwhile, Clara had decided to take Eddie's advice, but her luck hadn't changed yet. Sorry, said the woman at the ring toss booth. Why don't you try the dart game? At Eddie's booth, an older kid came over. He sounded like a teenager, so Eddie asked, Are you older than thirteen? Yes, whispered the boy. Younger than fifteen? No, said the boy. Now I'm in trouble, thought Eddie. Older than twenty, he asked. No, said the boy. Between fifteen and twenty narrows it down, thought Eddie. Are you eighteen, he asked. Nope, said the boy. Are you seventeen? You finally got it, he said, but it took you five questions. Pick a prize, said Eddie. Ah, too bad, said the boy. I wanted to see you get dunked. At the booth next door, Clara was still doing her best to win a prize. Clara, I don't think this game is for you, said the teacher at the dart game. Look, isn't that your grandfather over there? Clara looked up. She grinned and ran off to Eddie's booth. The next voice at Eddie's booth sounded really old. Are you older than 50, asked Eddie. Yes, said the man. Younger than 55, asked Eddie. No, said the man. Between 55 and 60? No. Younger than 62? No. All Eddie knew was that this person was at least 62 years old. Are you younger than 68? Eddie asked. No, said the man. Eddie had just one question left before he got dunked. Are you 69? he asked. No, said the voice. Eddie heard Clara laugh. And then... Splash! Eddie untied his blindfold as he climbed out of the tub. You must be as old as Mr. Shaw, he said as he wiped water from his eyes. I am Mr. Shaw, said Mr. Shaw, and I'm seventy. Mr. Shaw picked the biggest prize in the entire booth. Then he handed it to Clara. Clara gave her Bayside Dolphin a big hug. Thanks, Granddaddy, she said.